Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series, well, I just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now, in today's video, <laughs> I'm going to be covering my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for Supreme New York's Fall Winter 2022 collection. Well, <laughs> it's time. You, know, you, you guys know what time it is. So the off season has come to a close. We're now moving into the next season of Supreme's uh, 2022 year and moving into the fall winter season. And in today's video, we're going to be covering the lookbook and the release details for week one of that season. Now, I have had some of it spoiled to me. Uh, I tried to avoid the spoilers as much as possible. I was like, no, I'm going to save it for the video. But, you know, you load up Instagram and there's like five different pages posting about it. So <laughs> I have had some of it spoiled for me. And even on my lunch break today, my mate Eli was like, Daniel, look at, look at this jacket that's coming out in the season. I'm like, no, man, I can't watch it. I got to. I gotta wait. I got, I'm gonna cover it in a video. I gotta wait. So <laughs> I've tried my best to avoid the spoilers as much as possible because I want to go through this lookbook with you guys today. Uh, quite obviously, I've had some of it spoiled to me because I am wearing a jacket from a legendary designer who, from what I know, is getting a collaboration this season. Finally, I mean, he teased it in a podcast. He uh, He's asked for the collaboration for many years now. I'm hoping he gets one and I'm hoping we get to see it. I have uh, seen what is to be the alleged collaborative jacket we're getting with him, but we'll dive into that when we dive into that. So uh, yeah, as mentioned just before, we're going to be covering the release details for week one. Uh, we'll cover the lookbook itself and I'll sprinkle my thoughts and opinions on the looks, the pieces, everything throughout. Uh, we'll be using a Hypebeast article to cover the release details for week one, the lookbook and my thoughts and opinions. Uh, let's head on over to that Hypebeast article now and start covering the release details for week one. So here we are at the Hypebeast article that we're going to be using today guys and oh there it is it's the first jacket showcased. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I gotta, I gotta save it. We got 31 images, I gotta save my thoughts on it. We gotta keep moving on. We gotta cover the week one release details. So, Supreme's Fall Winter 2022 collection will see its regular weekly releases starting with its first drop this Thursday, August 25th, which checks out because it's Tuesday the 23rd at the time of me recording this. Two days from now, yeah, Thursday the 25th. Obviously, Japan will get it two days after M most of the world gets it, as they get it on the Saturday. They get it on the Saturday the 27th. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any further questions on when, where it's dropping, anything to do with the release details, drop it in that uh, comment section down below. But I'm very keen. <laughs> Mainly because of jacket number one. But yeah, let's get into it. We've covered the release details for week one. Now it's time to get into the jackets, and oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna rant about this first jacket for like five minutes, but let's get into it. Let's check out the lookbook for this fall winter 2022 season. Okay, you just gotta let me have my moment. If, I mean, if it is a collaboration with who I think it is, which looking at the silhouette of the jacket, looking at the button details, looking at the red lining of the jacket itself like let me just unbutton this one as you can see red lining on the inside of mine red lining on the one down here it just it has to be even though that the i don't think the article even mentioned it i don't even think he gets a, a shout out i think that this jacket is collaborate uh, a collaboration with legendary i'm gonna say i guess sportswear designer jeff hamilton the guy that did the NBA jackets, the NASCAR jackets, uh, basically all the big sporting jackets for some of the biggest US sporting teams in the past like couple decades, Supreme is finally collaborating with him. And I can say that with some confidence that I think it's him because like looking at my jacket, it has four ribbed sections, two buttons down the bottom. Looking at this here, 
four ribbed sections, two buttons down the bottom. There's no visible buttons besides the top one and the two at the bottom, which is very reminiscent of his designs because I can see two down the bottom on this left hand side here and then one visible button up the top. It obviously hides some hidden buttons in a little flap here. Like all of these little indicators are pointing towards it being a Jeff Hamilton jacket. I just wish that there was a photo showcasing the opening of it and showcasing Jeff Hamilton written on the side here in his very iconic fashion. But even the leather detailing is telling me that this is a Jeff Hamilton collaborative jacket because outside of him doing all that work with the jackets, he's known for doing these like huge mural art pieces in, made out of leather. So with all these intricate little details of um, different colored leathers coming together to form these huge art pieces. And this screams exactly that. Look at all of the leather detailing on this piece. It is gonna be ridiculously expensive. I'm thinking thousands upon thousands of dollars. I'm thinking maybe even tens of thousands of dollars. All of this is leather, all of it. All these little branches here, all the different colors, different pieces of leather. All the little um, bits of fence here, all leather. All of these buildings here, all these different colors, it's all leather. I can't express it any further. Like there is so much detail in his jackets. It's absolutely insane. I mean, I unfortunately, do I have any? I do have one or two of his full leather ones, but nothing to this caliber. And I obviously do have a couple of his wool jackets as well. Uh, when I was first getting into streetwear a lot, I was always collecting Jeff Hamilton, uh, Jeff Hamilton jackets. It's been a long time since I've collected a couple of them, but I'm happy to have a couple of them in my collection still. I haven't gotten rid of any of them. They're just fantastic jackets. Very, very streetwear-esque. And to see Supreme finally collaborating with him is just insane. Again, this is me going on an assumption here. I, the, I don't have any confirmation that it is a Jeff Hamilton collab, besides the fact that he teased it and all these motifs are pointing towards it being one of his jackets but I hope it is. It looks like it is. You know, it's, it's, it's ticking all the boxes for me. It looks exactly like one of his jackets and what a piece it is. That leather detailing is insane. I want it. I don't want to pay for it though, because <laughs> it's going to be dumb expensive. This is going to be a ridiculously expensive jacket. Like I, yeah, thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands, or maybe just like 15,000 or something like that. Like, yeah, crazy stuff. Fantastic looking jacket though. Now, now that we've ranted about this piece for a couple minutes now, we can finally move on. So, we've got some Vance and leather pieces. Again, not actually leather though. They've gone with denim, but it is still very biker themed. We've got a biker themed denim jacket and matching biker pants, biker denim pants. Uh, I like the jacket, uh, not too much on the biker denim though. I don't know, the whole massive trend many, many years ago when biker denim was like the only form of denim a lot of uh, brands sold kind of has scarred me for the rest of my days with uh, when it comes to biker denim, but I don't mind the jacket too much. That's a nice little piece there. Ooh, yes, I'm down. Give me this fofo jacket. <laughs> I love the colors on it. It's yeah, that's nice. I like it. it, it yeah. I'm not going to miss out, like I have to buy, oh, man, I'm, we're only three images in and I'm already like, yeah, I like all the jackets so far. <laughs> the fall winter seasons are definitely more my seasons, but yeah, big guess on that uh, faux fur jacket there. Not so much on this big silver, uh, what looks like, um, uh, what is it called, the Boltoro jackets? But yeah, it's just, um, just a bit too much for me with that one. Yeah, look at this big boy. Jesus, yeah, I can't, I can't wear something like that. And it's like silver, like you're gonna look like a, yeah, nah, Ooh. yes please. <laughs> a leather jacket, yes please, yes please Supreme, I'm, I'm fully on board. Uh, the detailing on it's crazy, all the different little panels on it, uh, the quilted looking print, oh not print, sorry, the quilted design on the chest area, that cursive font, it's, a fantastic leather color as well, like this white bone color. Amazing. Amazing. I'm a fan. I want it, and I want it in so many different colors. Ooh! The script. We have seen that before, but it was done on a very 
uh, worn out looking denim, uh, sorry, leather jacket with that, like, that supreme font on it before. This is, I guess, different enough to differentiate it from that one. I'm a fan of this one still. I love all the detailing on it. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, we got a matching uh, tracksuit here. I'm not a huge fan of tracksuits, and if I are, they've got to be very basic for me to rock. So, yeah, gonna skip on that one. Got a very crazy all over print uh, puffer jacket. Not for me, I'm not a puffer jacket guy, but I can definitely see this appealing to a lot of people. Ooh. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ah, oh, fantastic. I, I would pick this up. It's a nice color. I love the big, big quilted uh, exterior looking design here. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. How do I feel about the tactical vest over the top of another jacket? Eh, maybe not so much. Might have to skip out on that one. Ah, yes! Did we even get a overcoat or trench coat in the previous season, in the spring-summer 2022 season? I can't even remember. I don't think we did. So I'm very happy to see them make a return. Are the colours on this one? Maybe not, but I like the faux fur lapels. I like the design. I just wish the colours were a little bit different. But I'm sure when I have a look at the range at some point, there'll be other colours this one comes in. And if it's going for an okay price, I'm not even totally against picking up this colour. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the pieces underneath it, per se, but that overcoat, very, very nice. We've got a True Religion. Yeah, I was going to say, that's some very, very large stitching there. And then I saw the shoulder, I was like, hold up a minute, that's a True Religion pocket. <laughs> Bam, there we go. Down there, there's their iconic coat branded patch that they did for the last collab. Yeah, damn. Okay, I like that they're doing like these like very different silhouettes, but then keeping the motifs of True Religion here on this piece. It's well done. I'm actually kind of keen to see what they come out with this one. This will be interesting here. Ooh, leather blazer with matching pants. I mean, yeah. Do I want to say yes to it? Do I want to say no to it? That's the tough thing. <laughs> I mean, I'll leave it as a maybe, but I'm not completely against it. I'm really liking this lookbook so far. There's a lot of like crazy wacky pieces. I'm definitely feeling. This looks like a nice puffer jacket. I'm not a puffer jacket guy, but it looks like a nice puffer jacket. And the hoodie underneath, I like this font style. Embroidered. Oh, I'd like to see the other colors. Hopefully, please, hopefully it doesn't have some absolutely god awful back graphic. I just want it to have the font. Just give me the font. Don't make it a horrible piece, Supreme. I hope you don't. I hope you don't. But a nice puffer jacket. I'm keen to see what uh, the interior looks like and if it's reversible and what other colors it comes in with that one. Okay, this is it reversed. That's fine. I like that. That's cool. Very, very nice. Like a flannel design on a puffer jacket. That's kind of fun. Okay. We've got Alpha Industries, by the looks of it. There's not many clear indicators that it is Alpha Industries besides a normal bomber, but I'm going to assume Alpha Industries with a faux fur hood. I'm not completely against it. Those pants are crazy as well. Look at those details on that pants. Jeez. Wow. That's, um, that's something. Uh, crazy pants down there. The jacket, though, I thought I would hate this. But I'm not completely against it. I'm, I'm gonna have to sit on this one. I'm kind of feeling it though, for the weirdest feeling. It looks, I mean, to be honest, pretty bad, but I'm, I'm kind of liking it. I don't know why. Hmm. Oh, that's, um, is that Gons? No. Is it? I'll have to, I'll have to come back to that one. Surpri that's, is that, that's his, uh, oh, maybe, maybe. The art style isn't ringing a bell for me, but. Supreme is, yeah. Uh, leather pants, crazy. Um, the jacket colors are pretty wild as well. Yo! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Wow. That's something. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, well, we'll leave it at that. We've got some uh, very interesting pants here as well. Uh, nice little BOGO New Era as well. 
Ugh. Very interesting zip up hoodie here with various different fabrics being used. Gonna skip that one. We've got a, I mean, that's actually a nice jacket. I like the paneling on this one. The colors, yeah, that's nice as well. Yeah, I can't complain about that. I like the um, supreme detailing down the middle there. Yeah, and this is interesting. The pants down here with the, the supreme written all over it and all these different designs on here. I'm interested to see how those pants look. I, that, I mean, yeah, this is okay. I like the colors on this. I like the colors on that. That's nice. Um, bucket hat's all right too. Pants not so much, but I, yeah, I don't have anything against that. Pfft. Fuck all y'all. Eh. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, okay. No, I can't complain about it. All black with that back graphic. It's all right. I like the mechanical patch there. Ooh. Is that? That's not a collab with Dickies or something. Uh, or car? No, it ca it's a very Carhartt looking piece though. It's very washed out. They've overwashed that heaps to get that color to really come out like that. But the skull graphics, I feel like people would have just gone crazy for like a zip up hoodie like this that was just supreme with this really washed out color, and then they put the skull graphics on it and stuff. Are you guys deterred from it now that it's got these skull graphics, or are you, um, are you feeling that? Yeah, I don't know. That's actually a nice little denim jacket there. Um, it looks like a corduroy looking, uh, collar. Denim material. Those pants go crazy. Look at those, with the zips all the way down. <laughs> is that an Alpha, is that, that's not continuing on with the Alpha Industries. It looks like the same color as the Alpha Industries jacket. No, oh, but it does have the, mmm. No. That's kind of crazy if it is an Alpha Industries pants. Because a lot of these motifs, like the buttons and the zips, do look very Alpha Industries-like, so... Maybe. Okay. Fun little, like, mohair hair-looking cardigan. I can get around it, for sure. Looks like there's a navy version of the pants we just saw before as well. And a denim jacket version of the pants. I actually kind of like the pants, which is very odd for me to say, but I was feeling the pants. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Um, don't, don't mind the jacket, but the pants, I was like, damn. Uh, Doughboy Supreme 2022. That's kind of fun. I don't know how I feel about, about the green, though. If we, could we get it in a different color? Could we, you know, maybe like a black or something else? The green is just a little bit too much for me. I don't know how I feel about that. Then we've got... This, like, uh, Supreme Tech looking um, graphic hoodie, zip up hoodie jacket. It's hard to really label. Uh, the iconic Supreme font there on a t shirt, some washed out jeans, very nice. Oh, I actually like the panels on this. The color choice is actually quite nice as well. It's like gray, gray purple. Uh, mixed with this red. That's a nice jacket and I like the paneling on the pants as well on the denim uh, jeans as well. That's nice. I actually like this Well, that's it guys. Okay, so that is the entire lookbook uh, I was actually quite happy with the first half of it the second half it kind of lost me But there were still some fun pieces in the second half uh, My favorite piece this season that I can see from the lookbook I mean, so far it's the Jeff Hamilton jacket. I mean, it ha this has to be a Jeff Hamilton jacket, right? Like, it's it's literally got all the motifs that this Jeff Hamilton jacket has. The red lining, the button closures for uh, where the wrists are, the how the buttons work, the leather detailing is very much his artwork. It has to be his jacket. It has to be. I'm fully on board saying it has to be his jacket. I love that piece, mainly just because, when, you know, getting into streetwear, I was a huge fan of his, of Jeff Hamilton's jackets, so seeing this is like a dream come true, I'm very, very happy with that. Um, I like this denim biker jacket with, um, with vents and leathers. Uh, I really like this faux fur jacket. This faux fur jacket is hitting. I love this. This is really nice. I want this in an XL or 2XL. Um, not so much the uh, the giant silver jacket here. The leather jacket. Ooh, I love it. I want to see the other colors it comes in, but I really like this color. This is really, really nice. I never see, like, bone white leather jackets anymore. So, yes, please. Absolutely. 
Um, yeah, no, some awesome pieces in this lookbook. I'm actually very keen for this season versus last season. Last season, there wasn't too much for me, but just looking at this lookbook, I can tell that there's already a lot more that I'm interested in this season. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the lookbook or any of the pieces in general this season. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you like this lookbook? Do you not like this lookbook? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, that's it guys. Uh, we've covered everything. We've covered the release details for week one. It's dropping on the 25th and then the 27th for Japan. So on the Saturday, the rest of us on the 25th. Uh, we covered the lookbook. I'm a fan of a lot of the pieces that were showcased. Uh, I'm a fan of obviously some a lot of the jackets, but uh, yeah, all around, yeah, it's um, I, I, I positive things, positive positive things. But uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, guys. What you're going to be picking up, what you like from the lookbook, etc., etc. Uh, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this lookbook and what you're looking to pick up down in that comment section below. Of course, if you guys want me to cover this upcoming Supreme season, you've just got to give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, if you haven't already, a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,415 subs. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that's everything I really got to say about this lookbook, guys. I enjoyed it. It was actually a lot of fun. I hope that Supreme continues to take this route uh, and do more seasons like this. It's hard to specifically praise the thing that I want to see more in the further seasons, but what they were doing here like felt very supreme. I enjoyed it. There are a lot of nice jackets that I was getting around. Some nice hoodies, some nice pieces. It, it, yeah, it, I'm definitely more engaged in this season already looking at this lookbook versus previous, uh, the, like the previous past couple seasons that we've seen. This was fun and I hope that they keep it up. So is hoping. Anyway, let me know how you feel about it down in that comment section below guys, and until the next lookbook video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next supreme video guys, I'll catch you later.